Maple Islands, my home and part of the Klondike country. Judging by this entry, I bet you'll wonder where I- Okay, stop! I doubt anyone can write that fast. Anyways, my name is Ryan Ringtail, and I am an adventurer. My pastimes include solving mysteries and learning about the world around me. One of my adventures was in foreign islands. This was Zaya Island, an island separated from New Zealand. I was rowing a boat with a client. So, this is it, mate. The Zia Island. There's something my boss wants, and it's right in that temple. Hmm, sounds foreboding, but I am curious about the temple's history. It's not important. <gasps> Can you keep the boat running for me, Dottie? Good girl. Stay with the guide, and I'll be back soon. I was skeptical about this temple, and who would be? This boss I'd be meeting with that squirrel. The fresh air gave me a feeling of relaxation, though I kept my distance should things have gone south. Okay, here we are. Inside it is an idol. Find me the idol, and I'll convince the boss to pay you. Sounds easy enough. Come on, Dottie girl! I thought she was supposed to be keeping the boat running. Well, she never resists a good adventure. Don't you, girl! Now come on, let's go! Okay, you go on ahead. I'm going to have a stretch real quick, in case the temple's expecting us. Alright, once more into the breach. Boss, do you read me? Loud and clear. I've got that ringtail in the temple. He'll have the idol for you soon. Excellent. Get your men ready and then open season on the raccoon. Right. I know, Dot, but we'll make it soon. Hey, 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 I'm um, sorry I'm late. I was getting a signal for a boat to pick us up once the mission was done. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Well, that's our first part of the temple. Let's go. Alrighty, nice and straightforward. The wood's bound to be rotten in some areas. And I spoke too soon. Well, this is quite a weird shortcut to take us. Well, at least there aren't any traps, but I'm not going to jinx it. <coughs> what is it, girl? Ooh, okay, good eye, Dottie. The three ladders of Zaya sail one way or not. Take the wrong ladder, and you will get shot. So, it's a riddle then? Hmm. Well, there's one shot person trying to take it on the right. So the left it is then. Or it could be the center. I'll check the center. Whoa! Got you! Left it is, then. Whoa! Move back! No time. I see a lid. Well, here goes. Phew. That was close. Looks like we got it. You bet. Hmm. There's just one more segment we need to go to, and then we'll be at the idol. All right, it's do or die time, hmm? Great snakes! We got another puzzle to defeat! Congratulations! Congratulations. You made it, you this, made it far. this far. Only, Only with, with good, good memory, memory will you open the door. Press, Press the, stones the stones in a sequence, in a sequence after, after they, they make, make the noise. noise. All right, here goes. Hmm, okay, let's try this here! Okay, sounds easy enough. Open Sesame! Our 
control is within reach. Oh, this looks brilliant. And it's a shame we have to depart. True, but at least I got the idol, and I couldn't have done it without your help. Hmm, should it weigh just the same? Nah! Run! No need to tell me twice! LEG IT! Wait, your dog can talk this whole time? We're almost out of here! Oh, you son of a- Sorry, but I'll be taking that- no. You were saying? Traitor! It's okay, Dotty girl. At least we got the idol. Um, you might want to look behind you, Ryan. Oh. Ah, so you must be the infamous second-rate explorer, Ryan Ringtail. Second-rate is a trifle harsh, isn't it? Maybe. Maybe not. I take it that cowardly squirrel didn't make it out alive, then. Hey! Oh, that's low. I agree, what was I thinking? I haven't had the chance to introduce myself. You may call me Max Landrick. The famous movie director? Sorry, but what are you doing here? It's not your style, really. The squirrel told me about the idol that I want. It involves a clue of a special treasure I'm after. I'd answer more of your questions, but you will be in a pinecone box before you even hear it. Boys, open fire! Uh... Dotty? Yup, I hear you! This was too much to take all at once, so we had to run because now it was open season on raccoons! Okay, I have a target sighting. Quick, hide near the top of those trees! And whatever you do, be quiet! Somewhere around here is you, Ryan. I'll be paid handsomely for your capture. It's the Zia Goddess! Whoever's doing that has my thanks. Let's get back to the boat before they come back! I agree. Let's get out of here! So, I rode the boat out of Zaya Island. I had quite a lot to take in, but the mystery I was about to encounter would forever change my life. Well, looks like we're on the deck now. I must head home. I have several things to research. Max Landrick might give me a lot to work with. Excuse me? My ship is its own rights! I'm sorry, but this mooring won't help matters. Your foreign ship isn't allowed on the docks. Excuse me. Can I help you? I don't know if you can, sir. Maybe to convince this old crackpot my ship is fine to moor here. I'm sorry, but it was not part of the schedule to- Wow! <laughs> well, that's that idiot out of the way. That's a bit harsh. Er, uh, Captain, I believe? Yep, I'm Captain Max Bully, and this here is my ship. The White U. Ain't she a beauty? What's your name, boy? I can imagine. I'm Ryan Ringtail, Master Adventurer, and this is my dog, Dottie. Well, I never. Dog to dog. Though I had a bit of a nasty encounter a few days ago. <laughs> I should say so. You've been shot. Oh, that. Don't worry. I wore Kevlar. In my line of work, you're bound to get shot since, well, you screw with the wrong people. Now I moored my ship to pick up some supplies because I ran out. Then I can go find the Klondike Emerald. Klondike Emerald? What's that? I was told an idol would give out a clue to its location. I had it in my possession, albeit briefly, before a millionaire wolf snatched it from my phalanges. Max Landrick? That man owes me. If that's the case, perhaps we can help each other. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but I think we won't make much of a team. I mean, for one, we just met, and two, 
I want the emerald for probably different circumstances. True, but I want to find this Klondike Emerald before Landrick does. My reputation as an adventurer is at stake. In that case, you'll help me find the supplies I want for my ship. And if we prove to be a good team, you have my permission to board my ship. Compile a list of what you need, and I'll see what I can do. Right, like this one. Whiskey, beer, cheese, ham, bread, and more whiskey. What about fruits and veggies? Come on, Dottie, let's get what we need. So this must be it. I reckon Captain Wooly will like the strawberries I'll give him. Well, sailors do need vitamin C. Oh, sorry about that. Well, aren't you beautiful? Um, I think I had a few things that I dropped. Yeah, here. Thanks. Well, that was a bit of an awkward bump. <sighs> what a woman. I hope we meet her again. Hey, focus on the mission, Ryan. Ah, Ryan, I take it you found my supplies? Thank you. Ah, I was dehydrated for a few hours. You know, there is such a thing called water. Drink the ocean? That's a stupid idea. No! As in fresh water! As a sailor, we never had those. Want to see what my ship's like? Well, since I honored my side of the deal, might as well. Oh, and before I forget, I also added fruits and veggies to the list. You don't want scurvy on this ship. Hmm. Ah, thanks. My previous captain never allowed such things, and I was tired of the same ham and cheese. And you know what I did? Let me guess. A mutiny? Nope. Shot him in his sleep. Looks like he's a bit trigger happy. Did you say something, lad? Oh, uh, well, let's get on board then. So we boarded Captain Woolley's ship. It was bustling with life as different animals were managing the ship, loading supplies, and getting it refueled. So, you wrote novels yourself? A bit, but adventuring is my life. You know, these carrots are really good. I think I'm seeing the distance better. Told you so. Can you look for a map near my cabin? Sure, why? I picked up a map at Zia Island. And that's where I saw some jackals with guns. I mimicked the Zia goddess, and they ran off. That was you? I guess I owe you one, then. You already did, champ. Now, best you get that map while I keep the girl steady. Right away. Come on, Dottie. <gasps> right behind you. Now, he's put the map here somewhere. Maybe it's on his desk? How will we get there? This desk is a mess! What if he put the map in one of the drawers? Never mind, there it is. Oh, I once was a very old captain, going down in the middle of the sea. I got the map, Captain. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Ha! <laughs> hey! I thought you needed it! You mean this map? <laughs> what? Then, if it's that's the actual map, what did you throw out? There was a napkin in that. I made you think I threw it out. <laughs> Ugh, looks like we'll have some trust issues, Dottie. Tell me about it. Oh, here we are. I'll slide the girl into Weast. There's no such thing as Weast. Yes, there is. The map said to go Weast. That's the opposite of East. You call yourself a sailor, then. And we're trusting him to help us. Hmm. Do you remember where Max would have the idol? I had to hightail it out of there. Otherwise, I'd be a coonskin cap. Do you have any books regarding the Klondike Emerald? I know a lost city. It has a library of lost treasures. Think we can start there? If it'll help us find the Klondike Emerald, then what have we got to lose? Nothing. Because the map said to head past there. Next stop, Pandaren, the lost city of Bamboo. So we set course to Pandaren. The voyage took us about 10 days, but with Wooly at the helm, I knew we were in capable hands. During that time, I was curious about the badger I met at the market at the start of our adventure. Well, this is it. Wake up, Ryan. We made it. <sighs> I take it you want to have breakfast before we begin? Not to worry, I came prepared. Curried baboon, 
with a side of fruit. I'll take the fruit, and in future, I'll cook breakfast. Hmm. We'll see about that. <coughs> you know, this actually doesn't taste good. I bought that from the village, saying it's more salty than anything. No worries, I can whip us up some Darby cakes. I just need to use your galley, Captain. Go right ahead. I'll just moor the boat real quick. Good news, we can pass by now. So, those are Darby cakes. Hmm? Mm. These are really good. <laughs> I think you need to chew them first, Captain. You're right. Thanks for telling me. I'll need that map again, Ryan. There's a small paper that'll take us around town, so we can get to the library, then you can go researching galore. Right away, Captain. <laughs> hmm. Such a big ship you got there. <gasps> it's you! You're that raccoon I bumped into at the market earlier, correct? That's right. And who are you, since you didn't introduce yourself? Sorry about that. I was in a hurry. Um, looking for bread for my crew. My name's Seb... Uh, that's right. Sabana. You're Ryan Rainsail? The son of Jason Rainsail, the legendary explorer? That's right. I guess you could say I've got some large shoes to fill. Well then, I take it you ran the ship for a while? Technically, that's my ship. I guess so. You seem interested in seeing me, Ryan. I want to know why you're in the city. Um, that's confidential, I'm afraid. Well then, I better head off then. You bumped into her before? Yes, at the grocer's before we started. Hey, check the map and see where we need to go. Sure thing. I bet that badger is winning your heart. I can feel it going bump like a drum. By Zeus's lightning bolt, where did it go? That badger must have picked your pocket, Captain! Well then, go on and find her. I'll meet you at the library. And if you kiss, I'm taking a picture. Got it. Come on, Dottie. Let's go hunting for the map. It was then I started searching for the badger. There was more to her than meets the eye. Down the alley, Dottie sniffed around like a bloodhound hunting for a fox. At last, we cornered our quarry. I see her! Near that building! She won't get away this time! Hmm. It took you long enough to find me, handsome. I suggest you return the map to me, since I need it. Well, guess what? So does my boss. Your boss? Let me guess. It's Max, isn't it? That's not a- Whoa! I'll be taking that, my dear, since it's Captain Wooly's property. Hmm. I must admit, Ryan, that was fun. The library has a compass to where the Klondike Emerald is, and considering I'll need that emerald to pay my debt, I'll let you have the head start. Until next time, Ryan. Looks like I better go to the library then, now that I've got the map. Ryan! What's up, Captain? I found the library. Did you get the map from that girl? Like you have to ask? Ta-da! Excellente, Ryan. Come inside and we'll find the emerald. So, what's your plan with that girl if she comes back? I'm just making it up as I go along, to be honest. But we need to find a compass within the library. Is it different to the one I'm using? <gasps> That's it! Flip it twice over, and the glowing trail will appear. Best do it at night. Perfect. What time is it now? Well, time works differently around here. We better head to the White U real quick. We might need to study further. Right, come on. Back to the ship. Here's the ship. What the? It's moving! And now we'll take it from here. Poseidon's trident? Give me back my ship, you pirate! No, no. We're just taking our share. You happen to have the compass. I'll have to thank my thief for giving you those subtle hints, but I think we'll take it from here. With the Klondike Emerald, I can gain money by force! Wait, Mr. Landrick. We never discussed this. We only wanted to find and sell treasure. I won't- Just wait a second, Ryan. He's going to say silence in three, two, one. One. Silence! <gasps> no! Oh no they don't. No one steals my ship and gets away with it. I'll give you a boost. Can you handle this gun? Yeah, I've handled firearms. Great! Whoa! Here he is! Oh. Oh. Now, time to turn this ship back to port. Ryan, give me your hand. I've climbed up to the rear. I got you, Captain. No one steals my ship under my nose.
Well, it's a good thing wolves can't swim. I'll get you below deck so I can tend to you. There should be an extractor in the first aid kit below deck. So I went to work tending to Sabrina's injury. It was hard going, but soon the bullet was out as I put pressure on her wound with gauze. And soon she was beginning to wake up. <coughs> Where am I? Oh, it's you. I just saved your skin, Stripey. The least you can do is say thank you. How bad was I shot? A classic through and through. Be grateful it didn't hit any vital organs. Though personally, I always wear Kevlar for such an occasion. Kevlar? It's just an old wives tale. Is the Max Lander planning to use the emerald to gain more money by fours now? That no good flea bitter bum sniffing toilet drinker! Yeah, and I encountered him before meeting the captain. And least of all, you. Listen, we're in the same boat, sweet cheeks. So I suggest we put aside our differences and get the emerald before Max, IF you have no objections to this. Given we have a common goal, nope. And one more thing. Yes? Remember when I said my name's Sabrina? Yes, if I had to hazard a guess, it was a pseudonym. Sabrina. My actual name is Sabrina. Well, it's nice to meet you, Sabrina, and you already know who I am. I do. We had that fun chase and everything. But how did you know about my dad? My mother was a common thief. She worked with him once to find a pirate who had stolen treasure. Ultimately, the treasure was cheap junk jewelry. It wasn't a fair steal. But you wanted to be more a lady thief. Like, in literature, am I correct in saying so? Um, I guess you can say that. Hey, nothing wrong with that. I did read Maurice LeBlanc's Arsene Lupin when I was in my teens, and it intrigued me. Me too. I think I can walk again. Just go slow. You just got shot for Pete's sake. I got stabbed by two machetes when I was 15. You think a gunshot wound will kill me? Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? I met someone I called you handsome. She has stolen my heart, and I don't want it back. <clears throat> Anyways, how are we for progress, Captain? Ah, good news. The sun's about to set, and we can turn on the compass. Perfect. Hey, Sabrina, you want to help us out? I don't see why not. Okay, flip it twice over. It doesn't seem to be working. Oh well, might as well throw this in the water. Wait, what if it's the pages? You know it's in flipping through pages? <gasps> Good thinking, lad. Do it! Looks like that did something. Light ho! Get the wheel steady. Go a weast. Aye, Captain. Treasure, here we come! And this is lovely little one. That's Dottie, my dog. I had a cat once, though it's not there anymore. Alright, let's follow the trail and see where it leads. They may have the idol for a hint, but we're having a head start. I'll just head to stop it. Oh dear. Captain, is something wrong? We're about to pass the maze of maelstroms. Could we just avoid it? There's no way to go around it. We'll have to go through it. If any of us fall off overboard, I hope you can swim. Good thing I can. Well, here goes. As we entered the maze, the sounds of the maelstroms in the distance sounded thunderous. But knowing that we were close to our goal, we had to press forward, no matter the cost. Here's the first one. Then the second one. There's just like six more of them left. The small one we can avoid. But there's going to be a big one, mighty now. This one had 4,000 sailors killed or driven mad when they got sucked in. Ryan, the wheel's stuck. I can't move right. I think I see why. We're in the path of mighty now himself. Prepare to come about. I see the exit. We had dodged a near-death experience as we continued following the trail in the water. So this is how you reel out of dangerous situations. I'm betting you do this every day? It's just another day at the office for me, toots. I suppose so. We're halfway there, Ryan. Alright, what's next on the map? Where do we have to go? There's the island of Klondike. It should be where the Emerald is. How long do you think till we get there? 75 years. 75 years? I'll be an old man by then. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Ryan. It'll take at least one day, three hours, and 14 seconds. 13 seconds. 12 seconds. 11 seconds. 10 okay, seconds. Okay, you made your point. I think I'll have to get some sleep. 
not what we have treasure to look forward to. True, but it's better to catch the treasure bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I caught the lion sapphire with two sleepless nights once. That's all fine, but I'm going to get some sleep. And I suggest you do the same, Sabrina. Well, there's the deck. Night, Dottie. <sighs> Night, Rye. Hmm? Hmm? Ah! Well, um, that was weird. I'll say. Was I snuggling with you? Um, let's just check the captain and, um, forget that happened. Well, Dottie, rise and shine, old girl. We got work to do. Ugh, too soon. Gotta get my sleep back. Oh, all right. Get some sleep, old girl. Ah, good morning, my fellow adventurers. How is your romantic sleep? Did Dottie, d uh, how'd you know? Nothing gets by me, my boy. We're close to the island of Klondike. I got some urchin eggs for your breakfast. Ah, uh, I might as well try it. Gotta warn you, it's a bit sour. Hmm, you know, this is not that bad. It's different, but I'm not picky. Well, we're almost there. I see the island. Can you find my spy glass? I'm going to find a hiding spot so Max Landrick doesn't steal my ship again. Right away. Hmm, it looks like we're getting somewhere, and the emerald's right near an altar. We go to the altar, and we find the emerald. Have you figured out where you'll hide your ship, Captain? Yep, right here in Vine Passway. Wait, Vine Passway? According to the map, it's a sheltered cove. Why? That's a crocodile infested river. We can't moor it there. Nonsense. I've eaten its brain to survive once. I'm sure we'll be just fine. Ah, oh, woman. Acting like they're so strong and capable. I suggest you take Sabrina's advice, Captain. Just to be safe. Hmm? There's no crocodiles now. See? None whatsoever. You were saying... Ah! Captain! Wait a moment, the croc only nibbled your arm! And it's my riding arm too. I see a parking point, and there should be less crocs. Alright, I'm heading into it now. But best arm yourself, Captain. We don't know what to expect. Assuming you'll do the same what thing. Right. As I steered the white U, we soon made port and tied it. But now is our chance to find the Klondike Emerald. Sabrina, Captain Mooney, and I grabbed our guns and some supplies to prepare for the long journey ahead. Once it was done, I called Dottie up to the main deck. Come on, Dottie. Onto the deck now. We'll just hide near those viney spots. And done. It's perfectly hidden. Let's hope this works. The last thing we want is Max and his goons to steal your ship again, Captain. So... You believe me that there are crocodiles near that river now? Now's not the time for an I told you so. I didn't doubt it, Sabrina. Keep your guard up, you two. We're in uncharted territory. Right. This village certainly looks busy. Oh my god. Captain, what is it? Cherry coca rum? I'm trying that. <sighs> there he goes again. He must be really thirsty then. Well, let's go and meet the natives then. Never mind, it was terrible. The shock cups look good. Do you still have the compass? Yep, right here. Where to now? Hmm, the altar should be near a temple. Oh no, not him again. Max is here? Oh, this is just peachy keen. Well, he hasn't spotted us yet. Since he had the clue from that idol, he had a head start. But why would he want to steal the ship earlier if that was the case? Maybe it's about the book you found. Use the clue within and navigate. Or they wanted the compass. Well then, how's the road now, Ryan? All right, let's see. According to the compass, the altar is north of here, off the beaten path. Well, there seems to be a lot of natives. Hello there. Welcome to the island of Klondike. How shall we help you? Um, with nothing, sir. We're fine, but thank you for asking. I insist. Wrong answer. Now! Lights out, you light-fingered larcenist. These clothes look really good. I'm putting these on. Are you kidding me? I went swimming naked once. Want to see it? Uh, no. Come on, tie this guy to a tree and let's go. We got a schedule to keep. I see something in his pocket. Wow, there was a clue from that idol. What does it say? You read it. I'm going to take out everything in his pocket. Now, let's see what the clue says exactly. What difference will that make, mate? We have this. The clue from the idol is the piece of the puzzle we're missing. 
Put the clue on the compass, and you'll be taken to the entrance. All right, let's do it. There's a lot of stuff in his pocket. Treasures, rocks, gems, and a cookie. I suppose we won't need all that. Correct. Lighten your load. We gotta go. All right, let's get going. We checked the clue and put it on the compass. I was ecstatic, but also nervous about what we might find, since now it was a race against time. Okay, it's on the compass. Well, here we are. I think. Ah, it's the right temple according to the map. All right, now's the time to go in. You all ready to steal a treasure? I am. Like you even need to ask, handsome. Well, here we are. And look, a bridge. Uh, let's care- Or not. Never run and never, never, never walk. walk. The bridge the comes back, back but don't show stalk. Exercise your surroundings and will, then proceed by standing, standing still. still. We stalk? Like hunting. And exercise your surroundings. Hmm. See something that might be something to look for. Like a hidden passage? I see something narrow near those rocks, and it has some stones sticking out. Maybe we're meant to push that in? Well, let's give it a shot. It's not doing anything. We exercised our surroundings, so we need to stand still so we proceed. All right, here we go. Come on, Dottie. Yes, it worked! All right, onto the bridge we go. And so we crossed the bridge. It was slow going, but we made it across. And now we were so close to our goal, we could almost touch it. Do you see that, Ryan? There it is! Ah, ah! I can almost touch it! The Klondike Emerald. You've almost made it. Well done. Look through the root to get to the Emerald. Feel it, but do not knock. If you trigger a trap, a mess will happen, and the temple will shake. Oh crab cakes, another riddle? Looks like it's time to take the riddle apart, one at a time. Hmm, this should do the trick. But we might have to tiptoe through the areas. Some dead ends we'll get to, we'll set off traps. But what did he mean by feel and not look? Does the spirit mean being blindfolded? Unless... I knew it! It's invisible! So that's it. Alright, let's do this! Lead the way, Ryan. Right, come on! And here's the emerald. It's flawless. So beautiful. The best part is, we haven't triggered any traps. Don't jinx it. Um, why do I hear water? Uh, I think you removed the emerald. It must have triggered a trap. Or maybe I knew you were coming. I ought to thank you for doing all the hard stuff for me. But we'll take it from here. Not this time. I wish to kill you instantly, but given the water's about to arrive, I doubt any of you can swim by the time the temple floods, so we'll see you outside in case you don't drown. Looks like we'll have to jump past the wall. It's a risk we'll have to take. You hang on tight! Whoa, that's a lot of water. I should have brought my straw with me. How can you think of drinking at a time like this? You suggested water earlier. Yes, but fresh water! You're not squabbling, boys. I see some ladders near the door of water. If we can climb quickly before the water reaches us, we can escape. All right, let's go. Wow, that was tense. You really think quick, Sabrina. Well done. No problem. It's not over yet, guys. Let's get back to the ship and with the emerald. Or you can easily give it to me. Too bad you don't have one. Uh, Captain, do you have a sword on you? Like this one? Stole it from one of the jackals when they stole my ship earlier. Great! Hunt God, you ruffian! We'll scatter the emerald away from the cronies while you distract Landrick. Thanks, Sabrina. So, after keeping this precious emerald, I have it myself, and I can expend profits over this emerald, and if they say no, I'll force them with this emerald's power. A raccoon like you doubted me, but I shot him when he said never. Raccoon? Yep, and you'll be next on the line. I can hear the headlines, Ryan Ringtail killed by his own sword. One thing, Wolfie boy, you left yourself open. Hmm, brilliant. Muy bien. Think Ryan can handle this? I've got no doubt. Come on, let's get to your ship. Well, it's a good thing I hit that ship. I might loosen the plates a little. Hurry, right, it's the way you I go. Come on, Dottie. Right behind you. I'm coming. You took your time, handsome. Well, I was fighting a millionaire wolf. What did you expect? Well, Captain Wooly's going to sidetrack our pursuit. I see the vine pass away now. 
Oh, come on! Yup, to do hit and run stripes. You bet. I'll take care of them. Alright, Dottie. Let's take care of those on the docks. <sighs> I need to catch my breath for a second. Wish granted, scavenger. Alright, Ryan. Let's head to my ship. That's gonna be a bit of a problem, Captain. We'll see about that. Ow! <laughs> Stop the world I want to get off. No time to rest. Get the plank ready for Wally. Right. Well, that's them over in. Hmm, brilliant. Muy bien. Well, enjoy the chase and the battle, Ryan, but I think we've reached the end of the rainbow. Last warning. Give me the emerald, or this ship goes bye-bye. Try it, flea bag. Okay, sure. Hey! Thank you for the generous donation. Oh. Okay, now, Ryan. Got it! Ugh. That's for stealing my ship. Okay, Ryan. Now's our chance. Get the ship ready. Aye, Captain! We sailed away as fast as we could. Once the island was behind us, we got a chance to take in the Klondike Emerald. At last. Wow, that emerald is a real beauty. All this was worth it. It's going to be a great museum piece once I donate it. Hmm. Do you think the flooding of the temple happened for a reason? Could be. The ocean often claims its treasures if it happens to pirate ships. Well, how would things have played out had Max and not interfered? I suppose I wouldn't have my change of heart earlier. True, but hey, we made a good team, you and I. Good team? Well, yeah, with my brains and yours, I definitely feel like Sly Cooper. I never thought you'd say such nice things. I suppose that's why I liked you. Is something wrong, Sabrina? Oh, um, it, it is nothing. I'm just wondering, if we get home, will we see each other again? Who knows? Where will you go once our partnership dissolves? I'll probably find more gems, but I'm already looking at one of them. That thing is going to be in the museum. Not that. You. Oh. I'm glad to have bumped into you at the market. Well, uh, thanks. But I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of Max and his cohorts. I agree. I see Maple Islands up ahead. I saw a lovely cafe nearby while I was shopping. Once come here, once we don't need the emerald? That would be great. And after this, I seriously need some major downtime. Will this help? Y yes that'll do. <laughs> You're such a goof. <laughs> well, wasn't that cute? What?! You're smitten, Rai, my man. Me, smitten? Don't be ridiculous. Your face is betraying you, and I saw Sabrina kiss you too. Okay, you made your point. After reaching Safe Harbor, I donated the Klondike Emerald to the museum, and, true to my word, I met up with Sabrina to celebrate our success. Well, I told you you'd love it here, Ryan. Reminds me of Schletema in Amsterdam. I think I've heard of that. It's a bookshop with a cafe inside. I must head there, in case I might have forgotten. So, the Klondike Emerald is now a part of the Maple Museum. Looks like it. I have to say, it's quite interesting. Ah, well, another job done. So, what's next for you, Sabrina? To be honest, I'm on a loose end. I'm surprised that the Maple Leaf of Darkness doesn't get found next. Maple Leaf of Darkness? Looks like we got another job to do, but for now, I just want to flake. Me too. How about we start business next month? I should have a few jobs on my plate tomorrow. Consider it done. I'll see you later, Ryan. Don't keep me waiting. You know I'm never late. My first ever adventure was complete, and now that I have some new friends, I can't wait to see what will happen next.